Art is adventurous. Art is boundless. Art is, to me, life. Because it's my passion, I get to explore myself. I get to put who I am into my art. Art, to me, is possibility. Art is unexpected. It doesn't matter how well you can draw or how straight of a line you can draw, you know. It's just like it's what you feel and what you want to be on a piece of paper, you know. Art is something that makes me feel unique. In an art class, they get to determine what goes into that. There's no right answer. There's no, there's no box. It's, it's not think outside the box. It's not, it's, there's no box. Just go, just take what you have. Here are the tools. And if there's something there that you need that you don't see, let's find it. Let's, it, it helps them grow emotionally. It helps them grow um, cognitively. I think I create to preserve the memories that I have of that year. I really like what I'm doing at the moment and I think I can reflect my emotions from that time <laughs> through my work. You're discovering something new every day, you know, it's just like, whoa, how did they do that? I want to try it out and see if I could do it. Expressing yourself is a basic human need and if there are restrictions, if there are boundaries that are put into place, then that's not truly art to me. You know, like if there's censorship and if there's anything of like, then it's not truly art. It's just something that's been malformed, misshapen to be something else. It's really exciting because you can do literally anything, especially looking at art history when new styles come out or new people try different things that have never been tried before. It's really unexpected and that's the most exciting part for me is trying different things and different styles and pushing myself. It helped me find who I am because I've started to do stuff that I like would have never tried outside of art class. And then like, I also w became more social, trying to get my projects to be better. And through that, going out and reaching out with people that I thought would be like, look great with this photo, made more connections that way. Art making helps students achieve goals in many ways. I would say the biggest one is tenacity, you know, continuing to try something and try it again and solve a problem of a piece of clay that will not go in that place where you had wanted and saw in your head that piece of clay should go and it's just not working and, and just that stick to itness and and perseverance to make this, create this piece you know, 3D, 2D, whatever it is that you see in your head or you're seeing as you go and you're proud of the work. And I, I think that crosses lines into so many aspects of our life. Uh, for this piece, it was based around the concept of alchemy, but I let my um, research and ideas kind of go down the rabbit hole. And so I came upon like the ideas of individuation and um, immortality. So I was thinking uh, that juxtaposition between um, human nature and um, our need to um, live longer. And so I was thinking with like the symbol of the heart um, kind of representing life, but also um, gold, which was something that alchemists really were trying to aim for. And so I juxtaposed it together to kind of make a statement about um, what we really value in society, whether it be um, material wealth or our own humanity. Other than art, I am also a musician and I like, that's my second passion and I absolutely love music. And I wanted to represent that somehow. And so I took a really big brass instrument and I wanted to show its keys and its beauty into one nice picture. I think my theme was that although everyone looks really, really different and our cities can be big and we're somehow connected and it's really us individuals who stand out compared to like the drab city. Well, this piece, I was watching a video one time and I was like, oh, I want to try that out. I want to try doing some leaves and like putting kind of dimension onto it. And I was trying to like 
make one pop out more than the other one and I'm just like okay and I was like using darks and lights trying to figure out how to use it while I was watching the video and so that's what I learned. Sometimes you have to work together. You know, you see what you see here. You often attribute to one single person because their name is on on the artwork. But a lot of times, there's a lot of cooperative learning that went into that. You know, the teacher and the student, other students. You know, they'll ask each other, "How did you do that in that piece of artwork you did? Can you show me? And maybe I can use something along those lines." So we're we're not just creating this in a studio behind a closed door, we're creating these pieces of art in classrooms where we have input from peers and adults in the room and we're problem solving together. I challenge myself in every part of my life and it's, I guess it's another challenge that I'm really passionate about and it's a whole nother completely different topic from what I'm used to. I'm very analytical. I like biochemistry and math and so this was out of my comfort zone originally and then I love it so much. So it's a, a different side of my brain, a different challenge for me. Uh, I'm not like the best with computers and darkroom photography is a lot of hands-on. You also get to see your hard work because you like have to develop it. You see it going from pretty good to like amazing and you like you just like see like the actual results happening right in front of you. Creativity is important for students because young people don't always have the words to to explain how they're feeling or to explain an experience and through their creativity they're allowed to speak things that they can't verbalize. They don't often have words for something so intuitive and personal, or they're not willing to share those words, but they'll share their artwork. It gets my mind off of things, you know? Like whenever my mind is just consumed by so much stress or just um, insecurities of the future, like, you know, sometimes I just have to plant myself onto a chair and just draw and just like draw until it stops feeling a little bit more like I'm stuck in a box. It's always going to be like my safe haven creating art. If I'm stressed out or something else is going on, I have art to comfort me. So I'm, I'm very confident now because of it. I'm not as worried. I think being able to tell myself that it's okay that it doesn't look the way that I wanted it to start may, prepares me for different kind of failures later on. Not failures, I would say maybe things that I can grow from. So if I didn't like, see how like a fin turned out, then it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be the end of the world. What I hope we achieve through this show is pride and awareness of self and awareness of a, not just an appreciation, but a love of art. You know, it's part of who we are and how we connect. When I see them at the show and how proud they are of each other, to me, that to see them interact with their peers is truly inspiring. Definitely art helps kids grow in ways that we can't teach in a classroom, but we can coach, we can facilitate by providing the tools for them to grow on their own. You get to find more of the world because you talk to more people, you see more opinions, more views. This is not just the only art in the district. It's just a, a little sample of everything that students and teachers are doing on a daily basis in classrooms across the city. I find it fun. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, I want to start drawing now, but I don't have nothing right now. Okay, when I get home, I'll do it. I really like how long I spend on a piece and then being able to look back and say, wow, I really did spend three months on that piece and now it's you know, like hanging in Metro. <laughs> yeah, such talent around here, you know? Like it's so welcoming, you know? It's such a wonderful thing to know that there are other people that are just like me, you know? That are just like so in tune with their creative side.